my fellow Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here. <laughs> it is reaction time for the internet's best reactions. For the Emali, for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix from our good friends over at WTF1. Now, I am recording this at half past 11 at night, so I am going to need to try and keep this as quiet as possible. But anyway, me, there's no guarantees. Nevertheless, here we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the internet. Matty Boy! reactions. Today, it's Imola. It's the, it's the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. I am flabbergasted as to what I have seen over the last, what feels like three weeks. I think it was more about two and a half hours overall, but I am still recovering as to what's gone on. A lot and of I us are, Matt. Are too, but a lot of us are. Amazing tweets, as always. <laughs> Before we get into the reactions, I know you guys love this series and I thought I should do a shout out and say please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this series or our F101s or our podcasts and all the other content that's coming out for this Formula 1 season. I know some of you aren't subscribed and I'd love to have you in the WTF1 family, so please click that red hey button folks. and subscribe. Love ya. And uh, click the bell okay, to make sure you're notified so you don't miss any of their uploads. We always start with at sad bow. POV, Hamilton taking the curb in turn one. Of course, <laughs> we had a wet start to the race. Yeah. People going we off. actually got a wet race. The race Yay. Even begun. It was just showing the treacherous conditions around Imola, which, to be fair, you know, coming up to, you know, sort of race week, Monday, we're thinking, oh, there could be some rain. And then throughout the, uh, the week, a little bit more hype as uh, it, it continued to be there. But then as we went into Sunday, it looked like it wasn't going to rain. But then the heavens opened. Just went zoom. And we got a wet start. So, of course, Hamilton got a great start. Uh, but Verstappen was alongside, absolutely flying. Apparently he started uh, in second gear. And so he was up the inside going into turn one. And then, you know, you just know that clip of them going side by side in mm -hmm. slow motion yep. is going to be used for the rest of of time uh, especially <laughs> with netflix i'm sure uh, of course you know that incident a lot of some people were saying you know was it a bit argy bargy from uh, from verstappen but that's what yeah, you that's expect. a valid that's point it's a valid go, point no please no please no, no come through lewis no no no. i don't mind if you come back at me up the inside it's never going to happen of course he's going to in the wet conditions as well just close the door and that's what yeah. happened and i'm surprised it's lewis the mentality. outside because you just kind of knew with the curbs as well it was destined for a bit of damage at Formula e One, what the Imola GP feels like right now. It was <laughs> one of those races where you just needed more than one camera angle. You needed about four. But the problem is we can't then absorb yep. what's going on. The problem with Formula One is you won't be able to absorb everything that's going on on lap one. But it just seems not. to continue. I genuinely, and I know I do apologise sometimes for forgetting things, but this genuinely feels like an entire season's worth of drama in half a race because the the restart there was you know not as much but that first half lap 34 we had the red flag I mean, so much going on so i apologize if your favorite driver spun and i don't talk about it because it was chaos at f1 yep, needs in a nutshell rain. everyone when Mazepin crashes and isn't the first has to spin of course this is alluding uh, to Ugh. what feels like a century ago when Latifi went off at Aqua Minerali, then came back on the track mm. and Mazepin made contact with Latifi. And Latifi really hate was, Mazepin. Of course, really, really hate Some people him. wanted to jump on the bandwagon to, to blame Nikita, but you just can't. It was absolutely not his fault in the slightest. Uh, Let me stop you right there, Matt. Latifi was recovering on track. Racing etiquette 101. If a driver is recovering on tr onto the if a driver is recovering back onto the track, you give them the space to do so. You don't just clip their rear wheel and force them into the wall. I'm sorry, but J to quote a tweet that you said, the a, a tweet that you put out over the course of the weekend is going to become a liability to those on the track. That crash, need I say more? And Latifi just kind of rejoined and didn't really think about the Haswood that was on his right. So, yeah, it was a, well, I guess a racing incident, but definitely Latifi's fault. No, 
Oh, this is a good one. Samuel Twenty One French trying to watch through the spray like. You can tell <laughs> yep. Frofty in particular if you watch it on Sky was genuinely like this, uh, where, where he just didn't really know what was going on. He was kind of going, oh, okay, Hamels, yeah, Verstappen, and then it, you could just see the amount of spray that was on the yeah, screen. Yeah, the and amount of fair, spray that was coming that off the cars. Was, yeah, a little bit questionable. And overall, the race direction for this weekend just didn't feel particularly on it, in my opinion. There were there was a lot of moments looking at the midfield where, okay, they were close, but then you had a, a battle for the lead or you had a battle for, you know, between uh, Ricardo and Norris. So I felt like the direction was a little bit off this weekend uh, and I'm hoping they, they pick it up again uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Now, there was I do so like the music. Spins, it's so many crashes. really happy uh, We're going to go on to another one now. James Lewis, 21, comes in with Schumacher crashes on the pit straight. Oh, course, the Red Bull so box is, races. Is They're always a drive. barrel of laughs. So, you know, there's, no, there's not saying that Mick isn't struggling as well because he has had his uh, a few errors, but fortunately for him, hasn't completely ruled him out of either the session or the race. And uh, yeah, he was weaving pretty hard and quite an embarrassing thing as well because that he couldn't pit because the pit lane was closed. And, I'm, and, and, I'm, yeah, so and I was just, just sitting there like, around oh, the front why? Wing, was, well, pretty much gone and there were some wires and yeah, it wasn't a good look for me. Uh, and this uh, this tweet sums it up. Nuanced humour. Mick Schumacher waiting for the pits to open. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. An yep. embarrassing few laps, but... Is it, okay, you can tell he they're trying to go for new gifts. It's, it's a learning phase for this. For it's, it's good because he's never been quick uh, in, in the first season of many of the sort of top flight formula that he's been in. So, yeah, this, this first year is learning how to drive an awful car. Avoiding mm, yep. MRW tomorrow. Five laps in and it is full on. Look. Everybody was ah, in so good I had old to just SpongeBob. Kind of reinforce what I was thinking by adding some of these tweets in because it was chaos, absolute chaos. Yeah. We had Perez that, you know, was not quick really at all in for most of the race. To be honest, of course, he had a few mistakes later on. But when you look at the the start, you kind of think, oh, you know, starting on P two, maybe good chance. Obviously, then he fell back because Verstappen overtook him. But the pace just wasn't there, was it, for Sergio? And Imola's a difficult track. It was treacherous conditions. Qualifying was uh, was a positive for him. The race was certainly a negative, as was Valtteri Bottas, that I'm sure we'll come on to. At VD Pieter VDBRG, Verstappen, I'm the Mercedes now. <laughs> I felt okay, a that's a good Max, one. In the sense that, you know, he kind of built a gap. Then there was a safety car, built a gap, red flag, built a, you know, he kept building these gaps and then it just getting completely wiped off the face of the earth. And uh, But it was a really solid performance from Max, it has to be said. You know, he... Uh, yeah. He got an amazing start, and the fact that he even used that second gear off the grid and things like that, you know, he's thinking outside the box to try and get an awesome start, and it just works for him. And I'm so excited to see who comes out on top between Lewis and Max. Obviously, the inner Michael Schumacher fanboy is hoping Max comes out on top just purely because I want Michael Schumacher to be regarded as the at least equal goat in terms of world championships, but I feel like it's inevitable that Lewis will eventually get an eighth unless he randomly retires at the end of this year. Uh, but Max, mm. he's he's on one. He finally believes he can win a world title. And that turn one, actually technically turn two, lap one incident, just showed what th he means business. At Joshi, 60190716. Of course, we did mention Sergio Perez. Uh, that moment when Perez gets a stop and go. Oh, that was an odd man, incident, that wasn't it? sucked. <laughs> it's funny because the, the tweets that I've liked, of course, are usually my sort of catalogue of tweets that I'm going to include in Internet's Best Reactions. But I genuinely feel more now than ever... Uh, it's actually telling the story of the race. I'm going, oh, yeah, that happened. Because obviously Perez had that, that little spin uh, whilst the safety car was out, had a little whoopsie, uh, lost a couple of positions, and then just took the positions back, which is just it's just not how it works. It was clearly a bit of desperation to get back there, maybe just hope that the stewards didn't see. I'm not sure. Maybe he just forgot exactly what the ruling is. But, of course, safety car, no overtaking under the safety car. It's simple. Oh, yeah. Another tweet that just reminded me of something that happened. At Sean Regan 97 when Alpha Tauri finally changed Gasly off the wets. Oh, that was an odd situation, word. wasn't it? Of course, you had that, that sort of middle, not middle ground, but it was a decision between whether to go on the intermediates or the wets at the start of the race. I think only three, maybe four, actually. You had Gasly, Ocon, and the two Hasses that went on the wets. And you just think, Gasly had such a good qualifying session. I can understand rolling the dice if you're a Yuki Tsunoda, for example, and you're starting at the back of the grid, but what... I don't understand that the risk that Gasly took from P5, maybe they just wanted to win and they've just thrown caution to the wind and hope for the best. But for me, P5 is such a good position to start in a wet race where it was chaotic 
and, and he could have easily been where Lando Norris was at, at the end of the day. Oh, goodness me. Uh, this one, uh, well, uh, preceded unfortunate events. At Olmer underscore Ted, Russell in the points on merit. Well, the Williams in general looked awesome. This oh, weekend, they? no. Uh, were, were quick in oh, qualifying. No. I think it was 12th and 14th uh, for Russell and Latifi. Then, yep. uh, then the incident happened, which I know I have tweets for, so we'll get mm -hmm. on to that shortly. Here we go. <laughs> this was a good tweet about the Gasly wet situation. At Born at Friday 13. <laughs> uh, yep, oh, that sounds about right. Wets. Honestly, they left him out for so long. At one point, it was like eight seconds a lap slower. Like if it just threw away his entire weekend, and it's just yeah, it's, it's a shame because Gasly has shown great pace. Of course, he drove into the back of Ricardo in Bahrain, but just generally, it hasn't been a good start for Pierre. Some may be his fault, i.e., driving into Ricardo, but others just completely out of his hands. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe he had a call on that and went for the wets as well. But yeah, it was uh, it was a risky one. So of course, Lando ended up on the podium. Amazing result for him. But uh, he he didn't have the easiest starts. He had uh, contact with Stroll, I think, at the beginning at name Rizvi. Lando, after being allowed to pass Ricardo, of course, he got behind Daniel Ricardo, and he was pretty much getting held up. And you know, you hear the team radios all the time, don't you? Going, oh no, you know, if I get if I get past, yeah, I'm gonna go at least four minutes a lap quicker. You never believe it, do you? But as soon as Lando was uh, was let through uh, from Danny Rick, he just flew away. And next thing you look, he was like eight seconds down the road. So it was a good call from McLaren because mm -hmm. they may not have got that podium had they not done that. Now, you know, I mentioned about the F1 direction being a bit off. This was another bit of a whoopsie, I suppose. At Camunez, the camera is showing the wrong pit during Verstappen pit. They just showed an empty pit box. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're just like, Ugh. I can't remember a time where we've... Uh, but we've seen that before, so a bit of an odd one. It just it just felt like, you know, start of the season, you know, just rock up, stick some cameras on. Of course, they had, they had the problems in FP1 as well, uh, where we just didn't get any insights or onboards or whatnot. So, yeah, there was problems uh, for the for the for, for Formula 1. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, really, but apart from that, you know, we can, we can still admire how good the race was. At Jordan GB24, both Mercedes crash and Imola. Netflix. There are some good Netflix tweets. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, of course, they were, I think, filming Sonoda at one point. Of course, they'll do bits and bobs of filming uh, throughout the weekend. But, oh, Mercedes. Of course, you had the Hamilton incident, which we haven't even spoken about yet. You've had Bottas and Russell crashing. And Netflix are just licking their lips. Uh, because you just know some of those storylines that are coming out of Imola. They are just ferociously writing them down <laughs> as we speak, probably. So let's talk about the George Russell, Valtteri Bottas crash. Uh, and let's begin it with at Tanme Jube. Williams looking at the expenses after the Imola Grand Prix. Of course, oh, Williams no. is a struggling team still, even though they're, you know, they're moving forwards on the grid. You have to, you have to say they're still financially struggling. And the, and the crashes from Latifi and Russell would not have helped that at all. But the actual crash itself, you have Bottas and Russell. How am I saying that in the same sentence? I Bottas know. Bottas and Russell fighting. Bottas's pace. If I talk about Perez's pace that was bad, Bottas was absolutely nowhere. He was horrific. Like, no, I don't pace know what was he was horrific. doing. Horrific. Um, is, is just, was just completely off the pace. Couldn't even pass the likes of Lance Stroll. Fell off the back of some of the midfield and then had Russell on the back of him. Then you had, of course, they were kind of side by side going towards, towards turn two. And I did tweet saying that it was probably more Russell's fault than Bottas's. After looking at it a few more times, I feel like it is still at least 50-50, if not a little bit more on Russell's side, just purely because he dipped a wheel on the grass. Of course, Bottas did jerk a little bit, but I still think it's more George's responsibility to not crash in that situation. He's the overtaking car, right? So that was a big heft. Bottas should have given him the space. Because of the way he was just sat in the car. Shouldn't have forced so him onto the grass. Probably just winded. Uh, and then they it... had that incredible altercation where they just were, well, Bottas was swearing at Russell. Russell was kind of slapping him on the head. Yeah, you just know that's going to be a Netflix storyline, don't you? Oh, boy. <laughs> at Fusion Gamer J1, Russell to Bottas after the crash. <laughs> that perfectly, doesn't it, really? And away from the incident, but more about George Russell, just generally at Imola, at Holland's Flicker, George crashing while running in the points in Imola. Oh, every time, of course. George oh, does I actually, I actually came across that in Blumen, um... and, uh, Even though he didn't win the race, which he should, definitely should have, he still has points to his name, but none for Williams. And you just know that Latifi is, who had a decent weekend at least in qualifying, 
bit of a rubbish one, of course, ending up in the wall for the race. But he's, he's picking up his pace a little bit more. It looked like maybe he was going to out-qualify George, but obviously didn't in the end. Uh, so you just know that Latifi is going to just get a point somewhere and be the first Williams point scorer since, obviously, Robert Kubica uh, back at the was it 2019 German Grand Prix. So... George, just come on. Every time he, he just gets into P10 and everything goes wrong. At Battery Voltas, there's another one. I forgot there's another one for, for Russell and, and Bottas. <laughs> Netflix seeing Russell and Bottas collide to create fake drama for that Mercedes seat. I don't oh, know. boy. Yeah, of course, you know, Netflix does hype up a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. You know, they do. There were some things in the, in the latest season that were just not accurate at all. And you, you do think that this will obviously be some sort of factor but maybe there is some drama you know russell knows that that seat hopefully will be his at some point but whether it'll be bottas's whether it'll be hamilton if he retires who knows maybe there is drama behind the scenes we don't know at josh russ 493 uh, we've got some insight actually to toto wolf's office live scenes from toto's seat oh, in the no. garage. <laughs> I, I think he'll be repairing some of that of course after hamilton I don't even a little know hit from how he ended up on in the, the wall desk. there. Of course, you know, he was lapping back markers, went onto the wet patch uh, at this sort of left hairpin. Can't remember what the name of the, the corner is. There, you know, I only remember <laughs> a few of them, like Aqua Minerali and Variante Alta. They're the only two that stick in my head. Uh, the anyway, Ravazas, Villeneuve, Chicane, Tosa. You know, it'll be reasonably happy and with that's about it. performance, considering he was in the wall reversing at one mile an hour after like a minute, and he was a lap down. So the fact there was a red flag, a reset, and Lewis got back to P2, of course, Valtteri out the race. I think Toto will be okay. It, you know, it's a, it's a bad day at the office, but it's still a podium. Who has won Tweet of the Week? Here we go. Right, we're here at Tweet of the Week. And, well, this one is... <laughs> it's simple but effective because I can hear it in my head, this gif. Uh, so it's just perfect. It comes from William underscore NZDE. Netflix looking at the Bottas versus Russell incident. Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I love if you're I a fan of the office, no you'll you'll understand. Russell that memes. And then I just keep scrolling up and there's another one. There's so many gifts and memes and reactions from you guys. Thank you so much once again for getting involved in this series. Because without you, it wouldn't exist and you're all legends. <laughs> right, I'm trying to keep up with everything. I, I know I haven't included I everything. I really need so to I'm invest sorry, in a ring light again, at some but, point. You know, crazy race. Uh, we're going to continue now from the last restart, which was after the red flag, which was, of course, because of the Bottas-Russell incident. And I thought it was going to be a standing start. It wasn't. I don't know the exact reasoning behind that. Maybe it was because it was a damp track and everyone's on dries. Who knows? But still, I mean, Brundle wasn't particularly happy with it either. And I wasn't either. I love to see a standing start. It's a bit more jeopardy that way. Anyway, it's at Sim Siri C. <laughs> that was really bad pronunciation. Max's mirrors right now lando went for the soft tires which <laughs> i was kind of i was thinking to Mac about mclaren's strategy choice there it was a bit weird you know everyone else was pretty much on the mediums but danny rick and lando went went for the soft tires they were quick at the start of course fired up really quickly and at one point obviously got past charles leclerc up to p2 lando norris and then he was about six seven tenths behind verstappen and i was going what is going on here is lando about to try and challenge the red bull whilst those soft tires he was were working? of course that didn't happen and uh, Max fired up, but overall, you know, I mean, Max's mirrors were like that for maybe one or two laps, but after that, he just checked out, did Max, and, and Lando held on to a podium, which is just fantastic. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, so before that actually happened, of course, we had the Verstappen nearly spinning, trying oh, to get some yeah. heat in the tyres. All the drivers, or at least most of them, if well, I'm pretty sure all of them, were struggling at some point during the race, and I love to see it at Edgar Alejo 97. Max almost crashing before the restart. My heart jumped. So did mine. I couldn't believe how sorry Yeah, mine as well. Was. And to be fair, Lando fans, you may not want to listen to this, but who knows where Lando could have got, you know, or he could have at least led for a little bit. Who knows what would have happened? Could Hamilton and Verstappen have battled? We don't know. It's a completely different dimension. But wow, it's, uh, oh, you, you just, that's the beauty of Formula One. Just not knowing what's going to happen. Oh, God. Yes. Two weeks. Only two weeks for the next one. Not three. Phew. Yay! At Carpo 91, Hamilton after that restart. Of course, we saw Bottas in the first half. Going of the race, through! Really struggled to get through in cars and, in fact, dropping backwards. And I feel like it's a little bit of an unfair comparison because, of course, Hamilton was coming through with DRS. It was drier. You know, the car's performance comes out a lot more then. I'm not giving any sort of excuses to Valtteri because he should have definitely been making progress. Uh, but Hamilton, you know, he was, he was flying through the field and... You did kind of wonder whether he'd be able to get to P2 because, you know, Imola's a bit of a, an unknown in the fact that, you know, can he get through? Does he have the performance advantage that maybe he didn't have last year? But, 
yet he still got through p2 and uh, yeah he kind of scythed his way through the field and you know i was hoping maybe he'd stay behind charles leclerc of course you know just passionate not a fanboy yeah, you can Ferrari. tell he's a passionate the Leclerc fanboy. Head, I'm like, oh, having spoken about Ferrari and Carlos Sainz going off 800 times in the first 20 laps, of course, coming over the team radio and complaining about, you know, is he going to make any more mistakes th uh, today? And he finishes fifth. Oh, I need to lie down. And to sum up the last 10 laps, at calf underscore Brislane, probably runner-up for Tweet of the Week, the last 10 laps for <laughs> Yep. I did think to myself, Brooklyn if Verstappen nine, nine. Out, it has a problem, <laughs> we're going to have an almighty fight for P1. Mm. Of course, we did. That went to the wrong side. Let's try again. One <laughs> we get a title uh, but, you know, you, can, you, can, you can't help but think these things. And, well, it was a good last 10 laps. Right, social media team champion. Here we time. go. Now, let's dive straight into it. The top three from the Imola Grand Prix. Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. What a San In Marino place, Grand Prix. We have. Mercedes AMG F1. Here we go. He was a skater boy. He said, see you Total later, Wolf. boy. Is that man cannot do? Well done, Mercedes. One point. <laughs> In God second, we've got an Wolf. amazingly wholesome uh, tweet, which I actually saw, didn't we, when we were watching the, the F1 broadcast. It was Lando taking that picture for the McLaren socials. Let me take a selfie. Well done, McLaren. Hey, Two good points. on you, Lando. And finally, the winners from the social media team championship for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix are... Alfa Romeo racing. Okay, what do they so got? Good. I only caught a glimpse of this uh, at some point. I'm so glad I saw it because it's brilliant. Uh, and of course, it has a dog in it and it's an, a, a Kimi beautifully sneaking edited. in so the points. And then That's Kimi point got a time penalty. One, two points for McLaren. Then Kimi got a time penalty. Alfa Romeo racing. Which burned him out of the points. What happened to the voiceover? Nevertheless, it's race rundown time. Here we go. No, actually, <clears throat> allow me. Points for McLaren and three points for Alfa Romeo Racing. And now it's time for Race Rundown with your host, Matthew Gallagher. Right, Race Rundown time now. I just despise this so much because it just doesn't come out my face. And yet some of you, I know some of you hate this. In fact, just skip the segment. But I know some of you love watching me fail at reading. So here we go. The finishers of the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix were Verstappen, <laughs> Hamilton, Norris. Verstappen, Hamilton, Norris. <laughs> okay. That's two attempts for Matt already. Somebody keep count, please. <clears throat> Cue the Kirby music. My turn. <laughs> Seven half from Norris, Leclerc, Slice, Ricardo, Straw, Gasly, Rackley, Rock, Holland, Longs, Perez, Sinodo, Giovinazzi, Vettel, Schumacher, Madsen. Second race of the season, and I do it in one take. <laughs> I've already beaten you, Matt! <laughs> okay. Verstappen, Hamilton. Verstappen Hamilton. Okay, right. No, this is like full focus. If I if I don't do this, I'll die. Wow, my eyelids twitching. That's <laughs> that now, so I'm gonna die. Oh my god, am I not gonna am I gonna die? Anyway, Verstappen Hamilton Norris. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Good. Verstappen Hamilton Norris Leclerc. Signs Ricardo Stroll. Gasly Raikkonen knock on all Alonso. Verstappen Hamilton Norris Leclerc. Signs Ricardo Stroll. Gasly Raikkonen knock on Alonso. Alonso. Verstappen Hamilton Norris. Verstappen Hamilton Norris Leclerc signs Ricardo Stroll Gasly right to knock on Alonso Perez Snow the Joe Vettel Vettel Show Macamazabin <gasps> It'll do I don't care just get it out the door Boom. Nine And the non finishers were Bottas Russell Latifi Bottas Russell Latifi Bottas Russell Blah Bottas Russell Latifi Russell Bustle Bottas Russell Latifi 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 I love how Vettel, by the way, he pulled into the garage and still beat the two houses because technically he's classified. So there you go. There so, you go. Right, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the internet's best reactions to the Imola Grand Prix. It's been an absolute... Imola, Emilia Romagna, San Marino, so whatever you want to call it. Firstly, to Fanatec for sponsoring this series. It's brilliant and we've given out amazing prizes throughout the entire season. So make sure you go and check them out. And uh, also for you guys for getting involved. Hashtag WTF1 on social media if you want to get involved next time. Uh, for the next race in two weeks in Portimao. That should be a really exciting one as well. And that's it. We'll see you soon for some more content. We've got the podcast going out tomorrow. We've got all sorts of F101s in the pipeline. Look forward to it. Love you all. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's always a barrel of laughs. Always a barrel of laughs. Oh boy. Oh, where do we even begin? So, that being said, oh, that being said, oh, I mean, I beat him. I beat. Matthew Gallagher. I beat Matthew Gallagher. I got it done in one take. I got it done in one attempt. One attempt. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> so, in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed these reactions. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a Dream Chaser like myself, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join your Dream Chaser's notification squad so you don't miss anything that I do on this channel. End cards are on the way. We've got mini drivers reactions coming up soon. But until then, we will see you guys next time.